So it seems the Space Center is under attack again, and this time it's from our own shore, inside of a crater and a mountain off to our north a bit. Now we actually need to see what the hell is going on up there, so we need to make a drone. So that's what we're going to focus on right now, is making some sort of drone we can go over there. May or may not be armed, but it needs to get up there and actually figure out what's going on. So we're going to build a small little drone ship. If I can find correct stuff, we'll do the state Putnik. So, we're going to need something as in like a fuselage. Oh, that's a way too big. That's a way too big. We need small fuel tanks. Mono propellant. Meh. Whoa, that's a big one. Actually, that's quite large. Actually, let's do this. We're going to redo that. We're going to do a computer. No, that's too big. We're going to do a probe. From that probe, we are going to do a small 2.5 fuel tank. And from there, we're going to do a nose cone. Actually, that's even too big. Okay, so let's get rid of this fuel tank. Let's do this. When in doubt, fix it. There we go. Actually, let's really get into this a bit. There we go. This will be a liquid fuel setup right there. And we'll go ahead and make... A Mark 1 to a Mark 2. Some sort of, sort of flat. Actually, this would be kind of cool. Yes, this would be a really cool drone setup. Two radial adapters. We'll do one more fuel section here. Hold on, let me pull these off. One more there. We'll make that another liquid. And drop this right here on the side. That's cool. That's kind of a cool little drone. It almost looks like that one thing they were developing to put on the back of the SR-71. Um, the Delta Wing's not really going to work here. Unless... Let's try this. Let's throw a delta wing there. And then maybe a way to clip through it. Okay, that's kind of cool. That actually might work. Um. Do a little supersonic struts there. Let's get some turbo jet engines. We'll get three of them going. And there's some little aerodynamic control surfaces in to help us move everything. We'll do small ones. Maybe smaller. <laughs> Just a little smaller. Wow, that's big. This might actually work. For once, something I build actually works. So, I actually want to put two Hellfires on this thing. We need a weapons manager. 
one weapon manager. And there we go. And then we're going to put some landing gear on it. Two landing gear, and then a nose gear. Or maybe a short stubby nose gear. There we go. And we're going to call this the Drone Mark 1. So let's see how she fares. Just make sure I got the runway selected. Yep, runway is selected. This nice, I, I like this little mod that lets me change out the areas. It makes it so much easier to do instead of flying everything there myself. Okay, well, she's tail heavy. Kind of knew that was going to happen. So let's let's get her in the air first. She's nosing down a bit. Oh shit. She was not ready to lift off at all. Shit, no. Okay, so now we got to revert back to the space plane hangar. That didn't go well at all. Okay, so let's take these off because they didn't really do much at all. And... Ooh, these are like swept? That's pretty cool. There we go. Okay, so let's try this again. Maybe we can get her to lift off right off the bat without having to really do much gearing-wise, changing the landing gear, because I don't want to change the landing gear around. I like this setup. It's tail-heavy, sure, but this could be really cool if we actually get it working right. Wow, yeah, like that. I mean, that, that actually worked a little bit. That actually worked. I can't even believe that. We actually kind of got in the air. So this might actually be kind of cool. Wow, right off the bat. Okay. So we have no yaw capabilities, which is fine, honestly. Because we can just use the roll to kind of work ourselves into a yaw a little bit. Alright, so now all we gotta do is... Actually, I do have a bit of a yaw. I think it's from the engines. Alright, but now we're on, our we're on our course. We're gonna make it there. And uh, hopefully we can figure out what the hell's going on. Alright, so we've been picking up a radar contact, and this is the area that we've seen that the actual shots came from. And we're about, looks like 25 kilometers out from whatever these radar contacts are, and this drone is actually increasing speed, and it's becoming very hard to handle. Our drone operator is not too happy with it at the moment. So we're actually approaching the area, and we're going to see what is going on here. Thirteen kilometers out. All right, we should be able to get a good view on whatever this facility is. I can't really get a good view. There's definitely two ground contacts and shit.
Holy fuck, and the drone's out of control, but it's somehow making it through the missiles. I can't even believe this. It's so sporadic. Oh shit, oh shit. You got one engine, you can do it. You can do it, little drone. Oh shit. We need you to fire the missiles. Fire your hellfires. Do something. Oh shit, you're smoked. Smoked. Ah. Almost made it. They definitely have air defenses in the area. We're gonna have to approach this differently. Okay, so apparently flying an aircraft into that place isn't gonna work, so we're gonna actually launch a multi-stage kind of ICBM, short-range missile, and try to actually knock it out from the air. Um, this is gonna be difficult because for some reason the bombs are not working on this. It's probably because of the amount of mods I have running on this, honestly. Um, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see what we can do. We'll just call this the Mark I. Um, it's gonna be a difficult... Cancel. Oh, I should probably put a command pod on here. Is there a smaller rego- yes, there's a smaller remote guidance. Okay, and then we'll put a nose cone on. And let's get the staging correct. And here. Alright, so we got solid boosters and then one liquid booster on this. And this should be good to go. We're gonna have to do a, a straight turn to the north um, to actually get this to go in a kind of direction that we want it to go to hit these missile sites because we can't have them launch another cruise missile that would just be devastating to hit us with a cruise missile again alright so here we go oh she's getting wobbly Yep, she's wobbly. Oh, there it goes! No! But we still got one left! That's amazing. We're still going. Somehow, we're still going with this. Going strong. We just gotta keep her under control. It's not balanced anymore. Yeah, and here's here's the issue we have now. Now it's not climbing like it should. Oh, now I got her into a spin, it looks like. Okay, so we're going to have to scrap this. Well, this is much more responsive. So at least the final stage works as intended. Okay, so we can actually get this working in a sense. We just need to f we need to support these solid boosters because they came undone. So we need to actually get this into a supporting area. Okay, so let's try to get this working. At least attempt to. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to do this one at a time apparently. <laughs> No, actually, yeah, we're going to have to do this one at a time. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Now, these are super strong struts, so this should hold up against whatever G-forces I put against this thing. Alright, so that should be enough to hold it together. So let's see what happens. Hopefully we can get this thing 
working in a sense and actually get it out there to destroy this facility. And one of the things that I noticed while we flew over it is that the launch facility didn't render. So I think the whole facility in its sense doesn't actually come up on the map unless um, you launch from it. So that's going to change things a little bit. So here we go. Let's launch. So I just want to get a little bit of altitude from this first stage. It's going to have less to do than, you know, it's not really to get us there, it's more in a sense of it needs to get us up. Actually, let's throttle down a little bit. Well, I don't think that matters much on a solid booster now, does it? <laughs> I don't think we have the power to get to get there. As I'm looking at it now, I really don't think we have the power. We have the speed right now. We definitely have the speed. Okay. So now we need to see what our apoapsis. We're about halfway there. So at 50,000 feet, we're going to need to do a burn. Okay, so what's our maneuver going to be? There. And... That's going to be our maneuver. Which is... Not really what I wanted it to be. Yeah, we, we're no, nowhere near going to have the fuel required to get there. Nowhere near. Got a 30 second estimated burn is one day. That's got to be wrong somehow. Alright, so let's launch, let's do this burn. You know what? We might actually have this, 19 seconds? It's off a little bit, but damn. Is it actually working? We should have enough fuel to play with. Yeah, we got enough fuel to play around with this thing. Very surprising. This is the little missile that could. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, so let's get a little closer to the target area, which I think is right over here. Yeah, we're just off a little bit on this. Okay, so let's let's fuel her up. You know what? We might miss it. Because we're kind of in a re-entry phase almost. Okay, so we're going to cut fuel here. Let it do its slow down thing. And then we're going to swing around and try to nail it. I think we've hit this re-entry. Yep, we have. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and throttle up. So we should be able to start maneuvering here. At least I think so. Hopefully. Yeah, here we go. Now we're starting to maneuver in. Oh, oh, we're out of control. Okay, let's try to see if we can regain some sort of control from this. 
Oh god, this is the worst missile design ever. Stop spinning. Stop spinning. There, okay. It's for some reason hovering. This is just weird. Okay. We might have to assault this thing with a plane because these these rockets aren't much on guidance. Nor do they really work in the atmosphere. Well, this is going to be fun. Uh, yep, okay, it's all over the place. Let's go ahead and burn the last of our fuel. Now it's just dead stick. Well, now they know what we're doing, so we need to hit this base. Alright, so we're approaching the launch platform with our trusty Super Hog. The one that's already won us countless engagements. For some reason with this BD Armory pack, I can't get the bombs to show up. I don't know. I, I think after this episode, I'm going to do a clean wipe, wipe everything, install just a few more, a few mods here and there, kind of bring down the mod list a little bit, because um, this, this game's just really buggy with all the mods. It's pretty hard to do consistently with the amount of mods that are running and everything. So we're going to get this going, try, hopefully... Hopefully we'll be able to take this stuff down. I'm actually just making sure. Rocket pods are good. Actually, we should be climbing up. The problem is we got to get over this mountainside and then engage them. While there's so the second we actually crest this ridge line, we're probably going to get engaged. Which is not going to be pretty at all. It's going to be a clusterfuck. But it's actually funny. That's actually rendering out now. The uh, the station is. So that's cool. Because we're going to kill that stuff with guns and everything else. And we definitely got countermeasures loaded up. Which is nice. That's going to help us out a lot. So we're closing. We just need a little more altitude. We only have two Mavericks, so we're going to have to fire one on each SA-10 site. This one's actually the closest one. That's actually one that's within range of us. Okay, so... Firing one... Maverick away. Shit. And we're in like a fucking weird spin thing. Okay, so that's one SA-10 down. I don't know what the hell's going on with this plane. Oh god, we're so dead. Oh my god. He might be out of missiles. Yeah, that or somebody's asleep at the wheel. Alright, so let's loop run around and engage the next one. Rifle. 
Let's hit that launch launch pad. It's like clipped into the ground, it looks like. Jeez, this game's so buggy. Alright. Popping on around. We'll hit the tower with some rockets. Let's full throttle this beast around. Uh, we need to get a kind of a higher angle of attack up here. Oh god. Oh no, this is a bad idea. Oh god, I'm gonna hit it. Oh my god, I just cleared it. Alright, let's loop her right on the ground. Climb, 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 climb. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this loop is just ridiculous. And I've lost control. She's a fallen. Come on, straighten her out. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. Oof. Well, I think that site's been successfully neutralized. So I'm just going to fire off the rest of our ordnance. <laughs> yeah, but we'll definitely be back with more KSP War. We're going to figure out these mod packs, try to find a better solution to make them work and run better, and do some really large-scale battles. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later. Peace.